Hello and welcome to English is Beautiful. I'm Kirsty and in this series of videos I'm helping you with the PET B1 listening exam. We're doing an, a listening exam together and in, in this video we're going to look at the final part of the exam that's part four. Okay just to remind you each question is worth just one mark and always attempt try to put something because there are no negative points okay so never leave a blank space let's get going okay so part four of the pet listening exam looks a little bit like this there are six questions each with three options and one option is correct. You are going to hear an interview. So there's an interviewer speaking and the person answering the questions. Usually they talk about somebody's job, okay? Or maybe a hobby that they have. Uh, in general, when the interviewer asks a new question, you move on to the next question on your question paper. So that helps to locate you um, so you know which question you're on, okay? Don't worry if you miss an answer, just move on and listen, okay? So if we look at the questions together first, uh, number 20 says, Vicky first went in for competitions because a. She had joined a swimming club. B. Her parents were keen on swimming. They liked swimming. Or C. Her swimming teacher encouraged her. Um, now here, underline in the question first because probably all three of these uh, reasons will be important but only one was the initial reason, the first reason, okay? In question number 21, it says, as a teenager, Vicky's training involved A, exercising on land as well as in the water, B, going without meals during the day, or C, traveling to a pool once a day, okay? Again, under, underlying teenager, uh, because probably the period of time is very important. Meals are, are food, so breakfast, lunch and dinner. Okay. 22. What did Vicky find hard about her training programme? She couldn't go on school trips. She lost some of her friends. Or she missed lots of parties. Okay. Then number 23, what helped Vicky to do well in the national finals? A, she was not expected to win. B, she trained harder than usual. Or C, she wanted to take a cup home. Okay. Remember you move on to a new question when the interviewer moves on to a new question. Number 24, as a swimming coach, Vicky thinks she's best at teaching people. A, to deal with failure, to kind of accept failure. B, to improve their technique, to make their technique better. Or C, to get swimming qualifications. And then the final question, why has Vicky started doing long distance swimming? A. She needed to get fit again. B. She thought it would be fun. Or C. She wanted to do some traveling. Okay. In the exam, you have, uh, you have some time to read these questions. Exactly 45 seconds. Okay. You have 45 seconds to read these questions. Underline the key information and predict what you're going to hear, okay? 
Then you hear the examiner say, You will hear an interview with a woman called Vicky Prince, a champion swimmer who now works as a swimming coach. He says, I'm talking to champion swimmer Vicky Prince, who started competitive swimming as a teenager. Why swimming, Vicky? She says, well, Though my parents are interested in sport, they aren't great swimmers themselves and we didn't go on swimming, sorry, we didn't go swimming that often. I learned at school like everyone else and just seemed to be good at it, so my teacher persuaded me to go in for competitions. I mean, I did join a swimming club later, but that wasn't where it all started. Did you have to do lots of training? I did. I used to get up at five to go to the pool, which was a 35 minute drive from our house where I'd swim till eight. I'd have breakfast in the car while mum was driving me to school. After classes, I did exercises in the school gym to build my strength before lunch. Then later on, it was back to the pool for another three hours. So it was a hard training program? Yes, it meant I couldn't go to things like parties because I had to get up so early, but I got used to that. Much harder was losing two of the friends I'd known since I was very young because I couldn't go out much. That was tough. I also missed school trips to France, though I did get to go there later, so it didn't matter in the end. But you won a national competition? Yes, it was in the team that took first prize in the national finals. I always swam for enjoyment, so I was surprised to find myself holding up a cup. I hadn't swum that well in the semi-finals, so I guess the crowd were more interested in the other swimmers in my race, so that made it easier to do well. Of course, I'd trained hard too, but I always did. And now you're a coach teaching other people. Yes, I've just done a qualification to be a coach, but passing on my own experience is how I can really help them. And because I've both won and lost in competitions and recovered from that, it's something I can share with people. Winning isn't just about technique. And you've taken up long distance swimming? Yes, just as a hobby. I mean, I do want to maintain my fitness levels, but that wasn't the main reason for choosing it. And long distance swimming in the sea isn't all fun. It can be hard work, but you do get to see some wonderful places and that's what attracted me to it. Okay, I'll read that to you again so you can check your answers. Remember to move on to the next question when the interviewer asks a new question too. Okay. I'm talking to champion swimmer Vicky Prince who started competitive swimming as a teenager. Why swimming Vicky? Well, though my parents are interested in sport, they aren't great swimmers themselves and we didn't go swimming that often. I learned at school like everyone else and just seemed to be good at it. So my teacher persuaded me to go in for competitions. I mean, I did join a swimming club later, but that wasn't where it all started. Did you have to do lots of training? I did. I used to get up at five to go to the pool which was a 35 minute drive from our house where I'd swim till eight. I'd have breakfast in the car while mum was driving me to school. After classes, I did exercises in the school gym to build my strength before lunch. Then later on, it was back to the pool for another three hours. So it was a hard training program. Yes. It meant I couldn't go to things like parties because I had to get up so early, but I got used to that. 
Much harder was losing two of the friends I'd known since I was very young because I couldn't go out much. That was tough. I also missed school trips to France, though I did get to go there later, so it didn't matter in the end. But you won a national competition? Yes, I was in the team that took first prize in the national finals. I always swam for enjoyment, so I was surprised to find myself holding up a cup. I hadn't swum that well in the semi-finals, so I guess the crowd were more interested in the other swimmers in my race. So that made it easier to do well. Of course, I trained hard too, but I always did. And now you're a coach teaching other people. Yes. I've just done a qualification to be a coach, but passing on my own experience is how I can really help them. And because I've both won and lost in competitions and recovered from that, it's something I can share with people. Winning isn't just about technique. And so you've taken up long distance swimming. Yes, just as a hobby. I mean, I do want to maintain my fitness levels, but that wasn't the main reason for choosing it. And long distance swimming in the sea isn't all fun. It can be hard work, but you do get to see some wonderful places. And that's what attracted me to it. Okay, that's the end of the exam. After the exam, after parts one, two, three, and four, you have, to, you have six minutes and you have to copy your answers onto the answer sheet if you're doing the paper based exam okay here are the answers to part four so the answer to number 20 is c her swimming teacher encouraged her her swimming teacher persuaded her because she was very good at it number 21 is a exercising on land as well as in the water because she did strength training as well as in the pool uh, and she didn't talk about the other two options and then for number 22 the answer is B she lost some of her friends she talked about her two best friends who she lost because um, she couldn't go out so much with them and she said that was tough that was difficult number 23 the answer is A she was not expected to win because she didn't do well in the semi-final. Number 24 uh, is to deal with failure. She said because she has won and lost in the past, she can share her experience with her students okay, and help them that way. And then finally, number 25, the answer is C because she said she gets to see some wonderful places when she does uh, this long distance swimming. Okay, so well done for any questions you got correct. And well done for getting to the end of the video. If you want some extra materials to help you, look at the other videos on my YouTube channel, English is Beautiful. Please subscribe and you just have to hit the red button and please comment with any questions or doubts uh, or ideas and you can also join my Facebook group which is called Intermediate English with Kirsty or follow the page English is Beautiful. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye bye!